This is a quick video I'm doing on OneUp. OneUp is a, an automated posting and scheduling tool. Uh, as you can see there, they have a free trial. It's uh, one of those tools that I started using when I was looking for a tool for my customers when I was posting to Google My Business automatically where I could schedule it and most tools like this uh, are made for people that have far more customers than I did at the time. Uh, you know, if, if you only have say five or six or four or five customers and you're only needing to, you know, post maybe to, I don't know, 10 accounts or 12 accounts, uh, automatically then you know it can get very expensive you know using these tools as you know but one up is a very inexpensive tool for doing this as you can see as I'm scrolling through you know some of the benefits and how the tool works uh, this part right here where you can create categories for each one of your customers and for their social network that you would use. And you can schedule when it automatically will post. Uh, you can post immediately or schedule it out. Um, you'll see a video here in a second that, you know, gives you a quick run through on how to do that. It's very inexpensive. I'm going to show you here in a second, but if you just try it out, uh, you know, it's like, it's like eight dollars a month if monthly. If you do it on an annualized basis, it's uh, like four dollars a month, which would be forty-eight dollars a year. But that's to uh, try. I, I believe that's for three accounts. You'll have to step up to the next level. You know, if you have a few customers, but three accounts might be enough just for you. Because uh, it'll post to Facebook and Twitter and Google My Business. You know, it, it, it's really a nice, nice tool, as you can see. So I would definitely at least give the trial a shot. And you can check the link uh, or the description below the video. Because it's definitely worth, you know, investigating if you need a scheduler or something to auto post. And let's, let's take a look at this video real quick. Hey guys, it's Davis from 1UP and I'm going to show you how to get started with your 1UP account. So on the accounts page of 1UP, first thing you want to do is connect uh, one of your social accounts. So in this case, I'll click on the connect button for Twitter, click authorize, and just like that, my Twitter account is connected. Uh, if you connect other social accounts, you'll also see them appear down here. All right, next thing is under Schedule Posts, I'll click Schedule a Post. All right, first I need to select a category. By default, you'll see Category 1, but on the Category page, you can edit that or create new categories. Then I want to select which account to post to. So I'll click my Twitter account. However, if I had different accounts, they would also appear here, and I could select to post them as well at the same time. All right, and then you type what you want in the post. So I will just have it say hello. Uh, I could add an image or add a video if I want, but I'll skip that for now. Then down here, it's asking if we want to post this once or if we want to have the post repeat. So in this instance, um, I'll choose to have the post repeat once a month. And then down here, I can set the post to expire after being posted a certain number of times. So I'll have this post uh, post once a month uh, for three months, and then it will stop. All right, and then 
at the bottom. I can choose to either post it now or I can schedule that for the future. So I'll choose a date in the future. All right, and hit schedule. All right, then <clears throat> this takes us to the queue. Uh, so you can see all your scheduled posts here in the queue. Right now we only have one scheduled post. You can see it's set for April 10th at 5.05 p.m. My post that says hello. Uh, at the bottom here on this blue banner, you can see that it's set to recycle monthly. So after posting on April 10th, the next published date would be May 10th. And if I want to edit that, I can click edit to, um, to edit the frequency of how often this is going to be repeating or how many times it's going to post before it expires. Then also in this dropdown, I can edit the post it itself. Um, maybe I want to add something on to here. So if I wanted to add an emoji, I can do that. Click update, and then that's updated in your queue. And if I want to delete the posts, you can also do that too from your queue. All right, and then uh, this is the, the normal view of the queue, but you can also see all your scheduled posts in the calendar view. So I'll pull that up. Uh, I want to go to April, and here's my post. So in the calendar view, you can drag and drop your post to a different date. Maybe I wanted it on the 11th as opposed to the 10th. I can change that right here. And I can even click on the post itself uh, if I want to edit the time or if I want to add an image or edit the description itself. All right, like I said, uh, you know, it's a relatively inexpensive tool and it does a lot after watching the video. And, you know, here's the pricing breakdown. Some people may want to use the individual account uh, monthly if you wanted to try it. It's 15 a month or the single person's eight. You can try it for one month before you do the annual and uh, just see how you like it you know because it it's uh you know like i said especially if you have customers and you're trying to work with google my business it it will you know let you schedule out posts and it'll you know post images and pictures and videos to facebook or twitter or pinterest or you know it it's an all-around good tool and compared to the competition it's very inexpensive and I was using another service, I'm not going to name them, but it was pretty expensive for me to do, you know, what I do with this tool for you know, less than $100 a year. And one customer more than makes that up, or if you're into affiliate marketing, or, you know, if you're selling your own products or running your own business, it's really a no-brainer you know for posting and, and that's what's cool with tools like this you know it's a it's a great equalizer it's one thing that allows you to scale that's a great thing about the internet that allows us to do you know that we couldn't do before the internet it could let your people your average people like us scale your business and have what you would call like a whole lot of these quote unquote vending machine tools around the internet making us money and doing work for us while we're basically sitting at home.